Today I thought I'd look at this module which I bought a few weeks ago from China via eBay. Uh, obviously link in the description below. And this is a module for solar charging 18650s. And uh, actually you can see there are um, holders here for three 18650s on the back. And uh, on here there, well... There's a solar charge controller here in the form of the CN3722 integrated circuit. And there is also a battery management IC up here in the form of the BM3451, I think it is. Now we've seen the CN3722 IC before. Um, I introduced a couple of years ago, I think almost, um, these modules here. There was that one and there was this one. This one was adjustable, this one was fixed, and uh, these could take up to 5 amps, I think it was, uh, from the solar panel through to the battery, um, but this one here can only take 1.5 amps, and that's probably mainly because of the size of that inductor, because this is uh, claimed as an MPPT solar charge controller IC. It does do book conversion so all the current from the solar panel needs to go through that inductor and these diodes here before it goes into the battery the higher voltage of the solar panel is reduced to a lower voltage for the uh, cells i should say of course and while you reduce the voltage you increase the current so yeah this is rated for no more than 1.5 amps on the input and of course these inductors here on these modules are considerably larger and the uh, the copper windings there are quite thick so it's no surprise that that can handle more current than this little uh, inductor here so although this module doesn't come with any sort of manual, I think most of the important parts are on the silk screen. Um, we've got the connector here, which is an output from the battery, VBAT plus, VBAT minus. And then we've got the input here, presumably for your solar, on VCC and ground. There is, however, also marked on the silk screen a center positive 5.5 2.1 mill barrel jack because you can just use any old dc uh, power supply here to uh, charge these cells it doesn't have to be solar and again the silk screen comes to our rescue here the dc input is anywhere from 15 to 24 volts so clearly that's a good range for a 12 volt solar panel which might typically have a uh, open circuit voltage of 21 volts and a maximum power point around 18 volts there is an LED down here to show that uh, this unit is charging and when it has completed as well. And all this is controlled by the CN3722. And as I mentioned, we have seen the same thing here before on this module here. Two LEDs, one for charging, one for completed. Down here we have a couple of MOSFETs for switching uh, the MPPT controller there and a low value resistor um, for a current shunt to actually detect how much current is going into those cells. So that's pretty much this section here. Keep knocking that barrel jack there. It's pretty much the whole of the MPPT solar charge controller. In this section up here we can see the BM3451 and its associated components here and quite clearly three um, duplicated circuits here um, for the MOSFET to actually switch on these resistors across each cell in case one of these is getting slightly high and uh, unfortunately this doesn't seem to have an LED attached to it, which would have been nice to see which cell is actually being balanced. But uh, yeah, the MOSFET should switch on placing these resistors across that cell, bringing the voltage down on that individual cell while still allowing current from the uh, solar charge controller into the other two cells. 
Now, if we take a look at the typical application circuit from the data sheet for the BM3451, we can see straight away that actually uh, this can balance up to five cells. It'll do three, four, or five cells uh, from the single chip. And down here, interestingly, we can see two MOSFETs and a resistor for sensing how much current is going through. So I'm guessing actually that that's these two MOSFETs here and this resistor. They're not associated with the MPPT solar charge controller I see, the CN3722. They are uh, associated with the BM3451 balance I see. So up here, we imagine that actually there's a, another package here and that's a Q9435 and I think that is a P-channel MOSFET there um, for the book converter part of the CN3722 circuit. The final part of this circuit is a 4LED battery meter here which has again on the silk screen some indications of how well charged it's suggesting uh, these cells are and that's all based around here the lm339 voltage comparator here um, presumably uh, runs these leds and uh, they only work when you press the button once of course you've got some cells in there and putting some cells in is exactly what I intend to do now. Now I've got three of these. Are these Panasonic's? I think they are. They're roughly the uh, same capacity as tested. Um, well, and charged on my uh, Lytocala Engineer Lee 300. Now these two I charged up last night to 4.2 volts. These are fully charge these two uh, but this one well it's not fully charged i charged it on my bench power supply up to 4.1 volts so this would will take a little bit of charge now let's put the two that have been fully charged in here making sure to check polarity yes that's correct those on the outer ones and we'll put the one that can take a bit of charge whoops on the inner one, minus positive, excellent. Right, okay, so uh, for all intents and purposes, um, this should be, well, working. I mean, yep, yeah, four LEDs there showing that this is fully charged. Now, well, that'll be interesting to read, won't it? Let's, uh, let's put a meter on the battery connector here. Now, I'll admit, I've had trouble with these connectors here. I think you're meant to press down shove your wire in and then lift it up and that should trap the wire but i'm not getting a very good connection i don't know if it's the size of wire i'm using or what but uh, let's just test the voltage of this pack i'll spin it around to make that a little bit easier this is the connections on the actual 18650 holders and it's saying the meters here saying 11.94 volts that seems a little bit low to me let's just whip that over and check each individual cell uh, we've got 3.15 volts sorry 4 4.15 volts sorry um 3.6 that's low i've not charged that one very well have i and uh, 4.17 so that's the problem i've not charged the one in the middle uh, particularly well so uh, that will certainly take a charge now won't it when i plug something in to the input something that's between 15 and 24 volts it is early January here in the UK and, uh, well, it's overcast outside, but I have put three 50 watt monocrystalline panels in parallel on this connector here. So there's the potential for 150 watts. I'll tell you right now, we're not going to get anywhere near that figure. But if I plug that in, we can see on the porter power meter uh, that we're getting 14.6 volts on the input that's a little bit low uh, for the MPPT um, of those panels 180 milliamps 2.6 watts that's what you get here in the UK in January from 150 watts of panels but we are 
bringing in enough to uh, light that LED. It does say it is charging, so uh, that's good, at least. Well, that was never going to work, was it? So instead, now I'm going to try this AC adapter. It's a laptop power supply, 19 volts, 3.16 amps, and I've put a 5.5, uh, 2.1 mill jack here on the end let's plug it in and see what happens well the port power is showing 19 volts and we did get one amp there did we briefly uh, but now very little current the uh, cn3722 does say it is charging uh, but absolutely nothing is going in so what's causing the problem I wonder if the BM3451 is kicking in and actually saying no, we're potential to go over voltage and uh, switching those MOSFETs off. If we click here, it does say yes, we've got a full battery. So perhaps I'll try some lower voltage cells in there and see what happens. See if we can actually get this thing to charge. So I found three more cells here. What are these? Three point five 3.5 and uh, this is the original lower voltage cell 3.6 so they should take a charge shouldn't they i've popped those three under charge cells into uh, this module now and if i press on there yes we're showing three out of four uh, leds there aren't we so uh, it definitely thinks they're under charge let's try the laptop power supply again let's plug that in um, and it's doing yeah 19 volts and just under one amp so it's uh the port power says that's about 17.8 watts going into this unit and uh presumably well no i guess it might take a little while before that fourth led illuminates so uh i might just leave these 17.8 watts going into this for a little while charge up those three cells and uh, see what happens with the balancing circuitry now of course like i mentioned there aren't any indicators on those three balance circuits so uh, it might be difficult to see what's going on but i guess later on when those cells start getting closer to 4.2 volts we might feel a bit of warmth in these resistors perhaps perhaps not so this has been left for just over an hour now the unit says it's still charging there's still 19 volts it's doing about 600 milliamps but then dropping off entirely so we're getting about 12 watts peak and then well very little in the milliwatts and i suspect what's happening is something is starting to kick in here some protection somewhere or other um but let's have a look at the actual individual cell voltages so i'm going to disconnect that for the moment i've got my meter here and um well let's first have a look at the overall um voltage of the pack and that's 12.36 um this first cell here is sat at 4.16 and then 4.09 and 4 0.09 so these two are a little bit lower i suspect this one is going into bypass mode and uh, yeah let's plug that back in again can i feel any warmth yes i can there is a little bit of warmth in this pair of resistors here so i'm guessing that one is going into bypass mode uh, while the other two cells come up to voltage so it's a little bit off a full charge wasn't it it's not quite up at 4.2 volts per cell but it's not too far from it and actually that's you know that conservative slightly lower charge is better really isn't it safer so i've come back to this after an hour and a half perhaps turned on the port power meter and it's showing zero current but occasionally little peaks of current but still 19.3 volts on the input and i don't know if you can see that if i just mask the light a little bit there the charging led is a bit erratic so the cn3722 thinks that these cells still need a little bit of charge um, but i'm wondering if that erratic led is due to the fact that the uh, 
BM3451 balancing IC has uh, shut off um, the path to those cells perhaps. Remember uh, from a previous video we found that the CN3722 is actually powered by the solar panels and not by the batteries to which it is connected so uh, that could be explaining that. But I'm interested to find out what the uh, total battery uh, voltage is and then what the voltage of each individual cell is as well so I think that's the most negative and that's the most positive point 12.52 volts so that's not too far away is it from a fully charged 3s pack that would normally be 12.6 volts so it's slightly undercharging them but there's not necessarily that's not necessarily a bad thing is it let's try each individual cell then so we've got 4.18 volts we've got 4.1 seven three and four point one six four so there is well about 15 millivolts difference is that something like that 15 millivolts well there's neither here nor there really is it especially when they're all being undercharged so i'd say they're pretty pretty well balanced the last thing to mention about this module is it was supplied with this four pole JST connector which you would typically use for balancing and of course four wires would balance three cells that would work but it isn't a balance cable no it's just a cable which connects into here and two of the pins are marked as VBAT minus and two as VBAT plus and in fact there's two of these connectors on the module now I think that is for multiple modules. If you had another module, you could put one here and uh, daisy chain this one into that one. And again, it's got two connectors. You could daisy chain another module here on the left hand side and have them all connected together. And that would, of course, increase your capacity. But for me, if I want to increase the capacity of this particular module without having to buy a whole another balance board and everything, well, I think I'd probably uh, get one of these uh, twin pairs of 18650s taken from a laptop battery, plop that in there, and instantly I've doubled my capacity, haven't I? As long as I put three of these in, of course. So this 3S lithium battery MPPT charger with balance protection isn't perfect. There are a couple of drawbacks. It doesn't quite charge up to 12.6 volts that you might expect, but the balancing seems to work quite well. The CN3722 solar charge controller does do DC to DC conversion, but not really maximum power point tracking. The maximum power point is fixed by an external resistor. But as long as you're not after the most efficient MPPT solar charge controller for your project, then this one will probably do just fine. And this module is the right sort of size to fit in a lot of projects, and it's a good 12 volt DC source. Despite those minor drawbacks, I really like this. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment if you can, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.